Good day, folks. I'm here to talk about Halo. Now, I don't know what kind of apes work at Microsoft, but they made one of the best worst games I've ever played. One matched only by Ubisoft. Like, how can you make some of the best gameplay in a AAA title this year and match it with some of the worst store prices, progression, and general content of a Halo game of all time? Like, it's, 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 it's honestly baffling. $15 for a sword for one armor core? Like, I'm really paying $10 for, like, a helmet, a shoulder pad, and the color red for one of my armor sets? What? Now, look, it's not that I have an issue with microtransactions, but for $10, I'd like to get a full armor set. And, you know, I don't think that's a lot to ask for, considering I probably earned it in a previous Halo game. Now, like I said before, the gameplay, some of the best in the series. But everything else about this game, absolutely the worst. Let, let's draw it out, shall we? Let's make a list right here and a list right here. Look at this list. Ooh, nice, right? Now look at this one. Ooh! And that's not even everything. Like, for example, you want to sit down and just play some Slayer? Can't do that. Ooh! There is no SWAT. Ooh! And there is no infection. Ooh! In fact, the game latches about every game mode you would want besides Slayer, Capture the Flag, and Oddball. Oh, I'm sorry, you wanted to complete a weekly bounty? Better hope you get the game mode you need. However, just because there's some issues with the game does not make it okay to send death threats to 343 employees and community managers. This should not be an issue. So overall, the multiplayer, it's pretty good, has a lot of issues, and 343 has stated that they're going to be working on those issues, which they created, and the campaign's pretty damn good.